everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing Rockwell's brand new Blade Runner X2, which is a follow-up to the original Blade Runner. Now you may start seeing these in your local Lowe's because they just came out and they really are a good solution for the homeowner or DIYer that likes doing projects around the house or maybe even building small things. Now this is going to enable you to cut wood, metal, plastic, as well as cut through ceramic tile. So let's say you're going to remodel your bathroom or your kitchen and you're dealing with ceramic tile. You can actually do all the special cuts right with this machine and right in your own garage. Now if you're dealing with wood, they have miter gauges as well as a rip fence on here. And then so you don't have to deal with all that dust, there's even a dust extraction port that you can hook up to a standard shop vac. Now what I'm going to do in this video is really show you how this works. I'm going to show you the different features of it and then we're going to see it actually being used. Now to go over the different features of the Blade Runner, the tabletop on this is 17 inches long by 15 inches wide and it does have grooves in it for a sliding miter gauge which is included. So you can see it'll slide right in there so if you want to make very clean accurate cuts you can do that. And then it also has a place for the rip fence. Now that's going to slide in the opposite side. And to get this exactly straight, they do have built-in tape measures right here as well as right here. So you can line it up perfectly, then twist these two knobs and it's going to clamp it down. Now because this does take standard T-shank jigsaw blades, they're very easy to install and remove. You'll just lift the arm up. This red button right here, you're going to press down and pull it over. Then take the jigsaw blade, insert it into the slot, and then release that button. Now it's installed. When you want to remove it, you just press down on the button and pull it over. The blade will immediately eject out of the holder and then you can replace it with the next one. Now with the arm, it will fold down until it stops. Then you'll twist this knob in the back here to lock everything down. And this front part is part of the dust extraction unit. You'll also want to move that up and down until it's nice and tight onto whatever material you're working on to. That's going to keep the vibrations from messing up the cut. When it's tight on the material that you're working on, you'll tighten this knob down right over here and you would be ready to go. And finally, the last feature is going to be the dust extraction port. So this will hook up to any standard shop vac. You can turn the shop vac on and it's going to do a great job with removing dust and debris off the work surface. Now for our first test, we're going to cut through this one inch steel EMT conduit. This is what an electrician would use. So first thing we need to do is install the blade. I have a brand new metal cutting blade, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here now. And you can see it's a very quick operation. It's already installed. The next step is going to be to lower the arm until it stops and then tighten this knob down so it's nice and tight. And then we need to set our depth. So I'm going to place the conduit against the blade and then slide this down so our depth will be set. I'm going to tighten this up and because I want a very even cut, I'm even using the sliding miter gauge. So now let's see how it does cutting through this one inch steel conduit. So as you can see, it could cut through that one inch steel conduit with no problems. Now let's say you want to install some laminate floors at your house and you can't get a full piece to work because you're up against the wall and you need to cut it back some. This is going to be able to do that for you. Now the rip fence on here is going to keep a very straight line as long as you line it up on the front and the back. So I have it set at four inches on both sides. And what's real nice is the arm that folds down is going to line up exactly with the blade. So the crack that it makes as we cut is going to follow and track right along this opening. So what I'm going to do is rip this entire board. It's over three feet long. I'm going to go ahead and rip that now and you'll be able to see how this does. Now in addition to that, I'm also going to hook a standard shop back up to the dust extraction port. And that's going to get rid of a lot of the dust and debris as I cut this. So you can see this will slide right in place. Now I'm going to turn the shop back on and the blade runner and we're going to go ahead and cut that laminate flooring.
Now we were able to get that cut done very quickly and very cleanly without the need for a table saw or any special equipment. So simply by changing the blade, we were able to rip this hardwood flooring. And keep in mind, I did put the fence on the side that is included with this unit. So we were able to get a very straight, even clean cut the whole way through. Now that we have our circle cut, we're actually going to remove the middle of this to make a moon shape. But the problem is, is we'll get about a third of the way through and it's actually going to hit this guard on the back. So you can remove the mounting bolts, remove the entire top assembly, and then you'll see the blade sticking up. And now we can use it as an upside down jigsaw to make the half moon shape out of the circle. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of the ceramic blades in here and we're gonna see if it will cut some ceramic floor tile. And what I'm gonna do is notch it out. So first I'll need to set the depth. So the little thing that folds down on the top, we're gonna to screw that back tight and then we're gonna set the depth to keep the vibrations at a minimum. So we'll loosen up this right here and then this will slide up and down. We're gonna press that tight, tighten it back up and uh, now we're gonna see how this goes. So that was able to make a very nice clean cut on this ceramic floor tile. I'm actually very surprised. It's the first time I've tried this, but really if you were remodeling your bathroom or your kitchen and you needed to do some cuts, this is gonna cut through that for you. And because I did put the fence on there, I was able to keep a very straight clean line through the whole thing. So now you've seen the Rockwell Blade Runner X2 for yourself. Now this comes in at just under 15 pounds and what I really like about it is the fact that it uses the standard T-shank jigsaw blades. It's a completely tool-free blade change. So by simply pressing on that button, we can pop the blades out, pop the new ones right back in. With the dust extractor port, we can hook that right up to a standard shop vac and then get rid of all that dust on the surface as we're working. And then that sliding miter gauge as well as the rip fence really makes it easy to get those precise cuts right the first time. Now Rockwell does offer this with a three year warranty, so if you have a problem with it during that time, they're gonna fix that for you. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.